A new documentary called Justice that remained unknown to the general public until just recently, but whose director, Doug Lyman, is responsible for a series of high-profile movies from years past, reveals new allegations of sexual assault against Brett Kavanaugh, one of three picks from then-President Donald Trump for the U.S. Supreme Court. Despite previous claims of sexual assault from at least two women, Kavanaugh was voted onto the Supreme Court, which, under current standards at least, remains a lifetime role, by Senate Republicans. Deborah Ramirez, who went to Yale University with Kavanaugh, is among those featured in the new documentary, in which she recounts details of Kavanaugh forcing himself on her while attending the college. Separately, the documentary features an audio recording of accusations against Kavanaugh from a man named Max Steer, who relayed a description of an incident similar in nature to what Ramirez evidently suffered at Kavanaugh's hands. The audio originates from around the time the FBI was ostensibly reopening an investigation into Kavanaugh's background, although that agency probe never went much of anywhere, with key details evidently forwarded to the Trump White House, where there obviously was never going to be any significant impetus to take action. Those responsible for the documentary received Steers' tape from an individual whose identity is kept anonymous. Steers said that, while attending Yale at the same time as Kavanaugh, he wound up in a room where he saw a severely inebriated Kavanaugh with his pants down, at which point a group of rowdy soccer players forced a drunk female freshman to hold Kavanaugh's penis, as a report from the Daily Beast recaps what the movie shares. Steer said he had also previously heard from fellow Yale attendees about the incident in which Kavanaugh is said to have similarly targeted Ramirez. I can't stress enough how personally significant the Supreme Court is and how important it is that we vet the people who sit on it, Lyman, who personally funded the project, said. We were promised an investigation that never happened. Elsewhere, Donald Trump continues facing litigation from writer E. Jean Carroll over her claims of the ex-president perpetrating a sexual assault against her in the 1990s, and recently, excerpts of a deposition of the former president taken amid those legal challenges were made public. In the materials, Trump repeatedly reiterated that he remained committed to past comments he made against Carroll and separately confirmed he wrote and posted controversially antagonistic comments again targeting Carroll on Truth Social that later became the subject of additional defamation claims. He also provided a profoundly inaccurate recollection of an interview Carroll gave about the incident, claiming she'd said she liked what happened, which is false. She was discussing broader perceptions of sexual violence, although Trump stuck by his claimed recollection through persistent questioning. He also claimed in only vague terms to have been told before claiming Carol had a political agenda of supposedly democratic political allegiances on her part, which outlines potentially further confirmation of the observation he was just blindly maligning Carol, like could support a defamation claim.